Honest to God, I'm actually glad I put it on Dead Man Switch and Pain Resonance for this game because I actually hate playing on this map. This is going to be really, really bad because without engravings, I, I won't do anything unless I probably do some Dead Man Switch value. This is the one time I want it. Yeah, Spirit's Fit totally makes a lot of sense to put on. And Wraith's Fit. Rapper's Fit? And Huntress's Fit? It's like... Yeah, we moved away. Um, Trapper's Fit and Huntress's Fit? You gotta kind of think about it. Oh. Oh, I forgot. They changed um, Dead Man Switch Pain Resonance. I know. They changed Pain Resonance to um, go back to like pulling people out of gens and there's no notification. You know what's so funny about that? There's no not notification, by the way. There doesn't have to be. I have Dead Man Switch on, so I know exactly which gen is actually even being worked on. So, literally, this didn't even change shit. I feel like no, like literally, they, they they never change shit about the Dead Man Switch Pain Resonance thing. Like it's it's still gonna be it's still as strong this way. They made trappers more of like a more of like a jail uniform. Yeah, that's true. That's true. They just have to um, you know take off all the stuff that <laughs> all the stuff that basically makes Trapper feel like he's not wearing anything. I'm gonna slightly assume that's um life, or I'll pro I'm probably going crazy. I'm probably going crazy, maybe. Yeah. I actually knew how to stun me. I forget, like, without engravings, it's really, really, really hard to just get a full curve on a pallet. When people can read you so easily. And that shadow step. I should have taken out the, the, the boon beforehand. God, Irie of Crows is such a boring map to play in. If I like if I was playing Survivor on this map. All I'll literally do is just sit down and do gens, because like this map is just so big, the killer will never probably never find me. But if I was um if I was playing um like when I'm playing killer on this map, it just feels it just feels depressing. It's like everyone's already working on gens, and as soon as you're chasing someone, they're already in the good they're already in the good zone. I better hope uh, these two perks help me find somebody. But if it's this gen, that means I'm fucked. Oh, they were working on that gen again. And plus, I'm in the bad side of the map. Uh, I'd rather we just leave this. Actually, no. No, you know what? Better yet, I have to play this. Because that gen's already blocked, and they're probably not going to be going back to work on it again. Oh, I actually got that without even hitting the, the wall. That's a W. Yo, yeah, what's going on, Kimberly? <laughs> That's a big win, man. Yo, my, my guy, that is a huge fucking win. Like we always say, oh, big wins. They should have nerfed Pain Resonance, they brought back Dead Man Switch. I feel like they should have just like... Okay, so it looks like Pain Resonance only works with that gen. That's, that actually means this is the only, like they're barely even working on a single gen. I really feel like they should have just like lowered the slowdown on uh, Pain Resonance. But I don't think it's kind of doable thinking about it. Because it's not really that much slowdown, as they say. But now like, you get Dead Man Switch and Pain Resonance without, without like showing the notification of where the gen goes. You don't have to do that. All you just gotta do... Is run Dead Man Switch, and you already know which gen is getting like you know worked on. Because uh, cutting the timer for, I mean, cutting the timer for Dead Man Switch is cool, but it's the pain resonance that's going to be the issue. And having both of those trigger, like they, they, they should have just like left it the way it was. It's like they actually should have left it the way it was. It was probably fine that way, but I mean, you could still outplay Dead Man Switch pain resonance, but still, um, it would have been fine the other way around. I'm not going to reach this. Because this Meg has a brain. I actually don't even know why of all things I'm choosing to play on this tile. Like literally playing on this side of the map is like the last thing to do. Because every single spot is so awfully strong. Also she made a really really good choice uh, W game in there. I, have to, I actually have to go to a different gen. I actually have to go to a different gen. I got no choice. Yo AIDS Biscuit thank you for the raid. I hope you had an amazing stream. And everyone coming in from AIDS Biscuits channel, welcome. If y'all don't know who I am, um, hello, I'm Uncle Stambana. I play a lot of Dead by Daylight. Um, I play quite a lot of Billy, but the, all, the only thing you just need to understand is that I'm just pretty much a person that likes bananas, and that is about it. Wait, how was the stream, by the way, uh, Biscuit? Welcome, welcome on in. Hope you've been uh, very, uh, very well. I low-key really want to get that Dead Man's Pain Resonance value. But if I start doing ch if I start doing chases uh, on that same area of the map, I'm I'm gonna get screwed. What happened? Oh, that's why I love to hear. 
That's what I love to hear. You can, yeah, you can get off before they hook. Like you, you can pretty much just like let go of the gen before they hook. Um, I assume pain resonance and worked on this gen. If it didn't work on this gen, then I screwed up. But they, oh wait, no, they let go of the gen immediately. They let go of the gen immediately. Yeah, I, I, what's the word? There's, there's like, there's no reason for there to be no notification. The only people that will probably suffer are the folks that run um. That run pain resonant by itself. Nah, like it's 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 crazy because I need to break it to y'all. You pretty much have to run both of these perks together. You you can't you can't run only one. And like I, I feel like when you run them by themselves, it's it just feels good, but like you're just kinda stuck into that no choice thing. Oh, they're just pointing on the gen. Oh, there's like two people here. No, okay, they weren't even in the locker. I would I would assume someone's gonna throw like this uh Chris here. Yeah, I was literally expecting that. I was literally expecting that. Yeah, at this rate at this rate it might should be I might I might be doing pretty good with this game. If they all start throwing. I don't even think Dead Man's Switch Pain Resonance is gonna is like helping me out for the most part because nobody's touching gens. And uh, thank you for following Biscuit. My stream's going well. Oh the stream's going pretty well. I've been just like kinda chilling around, um, just uh, playing the game, doing the thing, remembering how much I love and hate this game. But no, other than that, um, this stream's been pretty good. A lot of nice combos and stuff. For now, I got uh, like I'm gonna try to like push myself to get caught up uh, with this game. This I think out of all the people in this game, this the Meg is the only person that knows how to play Chases so well. So like the only thing that's gonna help me out is a, a Pala has to get dropped. I, a Pala definitely has to get dropped, or I have to like break chase and just go for the person, go for the Meg, because I think the Meg is trying to go for the save. Like say in this case, if I was if um I put my if I put my time, oh they actually the Meg actually went for it. If I put my time like actually forcing a chase on like the best survivor in this one, I'm it's, it's probably gonna help uh, everyone else just do the gens. I low-key kind of want to M1, though. But it's like one vault. It's like one vault. Perfect. It's good I actually acted a little early there. It's just because it's not just for, you know, stream-related stream stuff. It's for other things. But no, I usually, like, read chat for the most part. It's just sometimes I'll have, like, those games where it's, like, it's hard for me to read chat. If I end up, like, wanting to, like, play the game kind of, like, pretty well with it. Ooh. This person is just walking, right? Dude, this Chris is just crazy. Kinda got safe there. Um, this is just like one small tile that Meg has adrenaline. And he just dead part of me. Yeah, though, but it, it's, it's true, Lucky. They pretty much gutted like both of these perks. You have to run. You have to run both the Dead Man Switch and Pain Resonance. You can't run one by itself. Otherwise, you are actually like just completely screwed. Like it's like these two. Like these two perks by themselves are dog shit. Actually, yeah, these two perks. If you run one by itself, it's just actually dog shit. Oh, I guess I'm bad. <laughs> oh, it's silly me. My best bet is to go for an M1. We play. We'll just push them out of the way. I got all the time in the world. I got a little lucky there. They... I think they missed with this hook, or I already got somebody else there. Oh, shit. Goodbye. He doesn't have a flashlight. That is actually unfortunate for this other guy, unless he wants to go in for... The nope, he's actually gonna leave. That's perfect. Dude, the map kind of like, I mean, the map kind of made it rough for me, but like as long as, as long as they started playing like a little more efficient with that game, that was fine. Gotta give credits to the Meg though. The Meg was like a, a complete juicer that entire game.